Hello, welcome back to Destiny. See that? Look, I Hello. I, I left time to in to say hi before the the cutscene. For years, the Cryptarchs have been waiting to Ooh, break fancy. through. fancy. We're getting fancy with this. Mm -hmm. What's left in that buried city? In no time at all, there'll be like explosions, and technological special effects put on videos. Oh yeah, got to get the dubstep and the uh, the screen wobble. Mhm. Mm I mean, honestly, I'm just hoping for a time where I can't tell that you've cut the video <laughs> once you've died. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, well, I can't say that I've tried super hard at it, but I have kind of made an effort, at least, to minimize the effect of dying. Anyway, yeah, hello, we're back on Mars. Uh, Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids, Python. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Um, I didn't... I didn't showcase it last video. I didn't show off that I had switched because I cut to Ugg at that particular moment, but I swapped away from the bad juju to uh, the exotic launcher Truth, which uh, detonates its rockets early uh, upon I'll proximity to targets, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm glad I mentioned explosions in the intro then. Mm. We'll, we'll take a look at Truth in, uh, in a little while. No use using it but on these nerds. But what about justice? I don't think there is a justice in the game, actually. Hmm. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show off the most broken launcher in the game. Because I don't have it. But, uh... I, I never got Gallarhorn. Not, never. Not once. I've got something. Inside I know what that five. is. Well, I just told you it's a launcher. Oh. Um, I looked away for two seconds, and <laughs> uh, apparently I missed an entire thread of conversation. Eh, no worries. I have a plan to charge the Gate Lord's eye. Deep in their war base, the Cabal are sitting on a Vex spire that connects to Why the Why are you Black charging his eye? Is he really big? That spire. Or are you we shrinking yourself down? Eye. What's going on? Here? We'll be hitting the Cabal where they're the strongest. Alright, so you remember how the, war. uh, the Awoken Prince guy... He was mentioning how the the uh, eye was dead. Yeah, we've got to fix that. Uh, Here we go. Bring it back to Let's life. Fight our way into their Just the eye, not the whole thing. Thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to revive any kind of evil, ginormous creature. Just the eyeball. Yeah. It's like the best torture. <laughs> <laughs> so we're. Uh... I started off, and I, I actually showed the traveling this time, because, uh, well, for one, the hunter's going in a completely different direction that we haven't seen before, and uh, I left this in because I did some sick stunts. Oh, I was going to ask you to do some sick, sick uh, tricks off the dunes there. Mm hmm I didn't mean Hell to, yeah. but it happened, so it's good enough for me. That was like a, a kick shift shifty. An Ollie kick shift. Mm. Yeah, something like that. Do a Spider Man. So, uh, if you're really inaccurate, the phalanxes can be a little bit of a problem. Uh, but nothing that a shot shotgun can't solve. Also, no problem for Python. Python is very accurate. Generally, actually, I am. In this game, at least. Where are the accuracy stats, Python? <laughs> What do the numbers mean? <sighs> you can never escape that meme. Or joke, uh, or whatever you want to call it. No, I'm, I'm realizing that. But yeah, you can't jump on top of this thing. It's just too damn high. Why would you want to jump on top of it? Because progress lies on the other side of that thing. Speedrunner never gives up. I'm sure... If I talented... A certain way, I could probably make it, but you know, whatever. But anyway, I was so going. What's over that? The end of it? Huh? What's over that? The end of the entire thing, or what? Oh no, it's um. You're supposed to walk under an overpass. Uh. Let me listen. I was just trying to skip that bit. See if I could. Cannot. Oh okay. But um, I was gonna say. 
I, there, there's no accuracy stats in this game, but if you ever look at any of the, uh, the strikes I do, um, not to really brag or anything, but I'm generally, like, head and shoulders above everyone else in the fire team. So I am fairly good at this game. Just a subtle, humble brag, it's fine. They must have found something interesting. Anyway, as I was saying, nice shooting with the uh, rocket launcher there, Tex. I was trying to show off the proximity thing. It wasn't working. Let's keep moving. I'll scan for a good vantage point. Because generally, what I like to do with the rocket launchers is aim for the ground underneath them. But mm -hmm. I was trying to showcase that, you know, they explode early. So I was aiming up, and the rockets, they just kind of dodged them. Well, that's what TF2 has taught me, aim for the feet. Mm -hmm. Which now someone's going to come in who plays TF2 and tell me actually aiming for the feet is the worst thing you can do. Or they'll say, uh, lol TF2 by Overwatch. Uh, I don't feel goons would be that into it <laughs> too much. It's more likely that you'd get uh, instructions on how to be better than just, uh, oh, you're an idiot <laughs> playing that dead game. <laughs> Which I never mentioned I played. Just once upon a time I played it. Why am I having an argument with a fictional person? Why, Damn why it, Python, are you? why did you do that? <laughs> I think you're projecting a little. It's my self-loathing for myself for having played TF2 and <laughs> shooting at their feet. <laughs> See, look. Anyway, here we are. See, look. I'm doing, I'm doing just fine with my accuracy. Headshots all over the damn place. And field or no go. <laughs> the only thing I really get stuck on is, well, level geometry mostly. <laughs> and rocks. Fucking rocks. You know, it's Mars. It's, it's kind of 90% rocks. You aren't wrong. Well, I mean now. Obviously there's like pipes and buildings on Mars now, according to this game. Yeah. Well, this takes place an indeterminate amount of time in the future, so... A trillion years. Possibly. Doubtful, but possibly. <laughs> That observation so, tower uh, overhead. There's bound ahead. to be a way to locate the spire. I was in the ballpark area, it's fine. <laughs> so I was kind of looking in the distance back there. And uh that is a strike oh, location. Spray. A center for science for Mars. advancement, interplanetary defense, AI development. It's a big old land tank. Research on and the by big old I mean fucking huge. Gold mine. So are we talking like sand crawler size or Yeah, more or less. <sighs> oh, that's good. I should watch that again. Also to date this recording again. Fifteen days until Destiny 2 on PC. Right. You know, it's kind of surprising to say this, but I think you might actually be more excited for it than I am. <laughs> I just want something to play. <laughs> Nothing to play right now. There's like, what? Uh, Battlefront 2, which is going to be average. There's uh, the new Call of Duty, which is going to be a phony, hacky cash grab again. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Like, nothing, right? Oh, Wolfenstein will also be coming out this month. True. I mean, it's been... Let me just say it's been a great year for indie games, not a great year for AAA titles. I mean, you've got your, you've got Wolfenstein, you've got um, Destiny 2, but apart from that, there hasn't really been anything that's going to blow anyone out of the waters. Right. So... Let's try that terminal. Yep. We're, uh... I actually kind of forget what we're doing here. But, Hello, uh, we Alex need... Gaming. <sighs> the, the prick got his ghost on the terminal before I could get mine. I was trying to kill his ghost. Doesn't work. 
Anyway, uh, this is uh, is this is us finding I got the, uh, it's on the, the spire we're looking for. Line. Well, if they didn't already know we're coming, they do now. Also, the ghost is really good at getting us caught by the cabal. Future technology, am I right? I mean, DOS is apparently more complicated. <laughs> In the future, where DOS is more complicated than anything else. <laughs> so, if you're fighting phalanxes with an auto rifle, it's, it can be a little difficult. Um, auto rifles aren't really known for their high impact stat. Uh, and the recoil can often put you off target for their arm there. But I swapped over to it because I, uh, I've been using... Uh, uh, the marksman rifles a whole heap lately. So I wanted to put at least a little bit more variety into it. Well, you are the marksman. Well, the hunter. Wait, the, hunter? the gunslinger, yeah. Gunslinger, whatever. And if I really wanted to tr stay true to uh, quote-unquote cannon here, I'd be using a hand cannon. Of course you would. My immersion has been ruined by them. I hope you're happy. Yeah. Hey, look, goblins. Yeah, the Vex. And they're fighting each other. Mm-hmm. Nice throw. Yeah, look, the throwing knife is real hard. All right. I just I can't get my head around it. Obviously, Despite the fact that it's been in Call of Duty games that I've played. Obviously, someone did use the tomahawk. You know, Black Ops. No. <laughs> uh, I I stuck with the grenades, but in this game you have both a grenade and a throwing knife, if you're playing gunslinger. So back with Ugg. Uh, these are the Cabal's transports, and much like the Cabal, they are huge, they are slow, but their cannon is fucking big. So it's kind of a perfect extension of what they would build, I would say. Naturally. Yeah. Uh, it's still useless, as the pike is for the Fallen. So, uh, especially here, since there's nothing to kill with it. Bungie seem to enjoy blueballing you and giving you vehicles that there's nothing around to use it for. Well, okay. Plus, they're bad vehicles, so... The thing about it is, uh, there would have been things to kill, except someone had already killed them, and they hadn't respawned yet. Feels like a but it I'm wouldn't have been very Bungie much. For that one. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been very much in, in your way. Nothing that you couldn't just, you know, do the normal thing with. In fact, you would actually be faster dealing with them with your normal weaponry than taking out one of the interceptors. These legionaries don't seem too tough. No, they aren't. Uh, the ones you have to really worry about are the centurions. They're the, the really, really big ones with the uh, miniguns. Because they, uh, they fire rockets, they have, like I said, that minigun, and they, uh, they do tons of damage. Oh, I can understand that. Yeah. So... Are there any other races we haven't been introduced to yet? There is one. Excellent. We've seen them, but we have not been introduced to them yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, I'm racking my brain and I have no idea. Cause, uh, because it didn't happen last update at all. No. It didn't. Exactly. Look, you have to know by now that I am paying no attention to the man yeah, behind the curtain. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. All will be explained in due time. Alright, calm down there, Neo. <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa. I know, I know Kung Fu. That blended in so well that when you took damage from enemies that I thought you were actually saying whoa. <laughs> no, me taking damage in these videos is just kind of a thing that happens. I mean, you can avoid most of it, but you'll eventually get hit by something, you know? When is there going to be a damageless run, Python? I expect professionalness from this LP. As I mangle my own words. Mm hmm. I, I, uh, I expect said professionalism. Okay. I have to correct myself. We just killed the big bad that I was warning about. Uh, it's not the Centurion, it's the Colossus. Right, I was Centurions say... are. Centurions are also an enemy type. Uh, they're the ones with the shields. Or yeah, not, you killed not, one earlier. The, yeah, not the big shields, those are the phalanxes, Get but ready. the energy shields. You know what happens when I open right. doors. You alert everyone, ghost, because you're useless. <laughs> he means well. He does. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to get you killed, because that means more work for him, generally. Because he has to revive you. Has to rebuild you. <laughs> with new technology. Yeah. Would you say it costs the last humans left a million dollars? Ah. Well, considering dollars don't really exist. Also, uh, yeah. Uh, that, that Colossus right there, he's a prick. He's elite, and he's also a Colossus. <laughs> and, uh, this hallway... This, this hallway has basically no cover until you turn around up here and go this way. Like, in a sec, you'll see just how much fire this guy can put downrange. That is some seriously good suppressing fire. <laughs> well, it worked on you. You literally can't move. Yeah. Well. Oh, there's the rockets. Yep. Also, did you see that sick bank shot with that grenade, though? I yep. was very proud of myself. Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, the Colossi are very, very dangerous. They're kind of like the Hive Ogres, except they have rockets now. We're getting close. Right. Okay, I had to rack my brain to remember what the Ogres look like. I remember now. Uh, yeah, they're the they're big guys with the weird faces. The guys with the face, and it's mm -hmm. weird. <laughs> and they're big. Yep. That that describes Ogres. <laughs> have I ever told you you would make an amazing police detective? We have to cross yeah. that bridge. I mean, no, you haven't, but I could see it. <laughs> uh, he was big. Uh, he had face. He had hair and eyes and a nose and a mouth. <laughs> I have no idea what that thing is, but I found it very interesting, apparently. I, I literally don't know what it does. I think it might be a spotlight or something, in case you come into this map at night time. Straight ahead. Maybe. I mean, it kind of looked like an anti-aircraft gun, but I guess not. Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, you can't, you can't like call in airstrikes. This is not Call of Duty, so it really. I mean, there would be no point. It, you, you wouldn't see it in its uh, purpose at all. So, I mean, it's just kind of set dressing either way, if it's a light or a, a, a emplaced weapon or anything. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just aesthetics. So, on top of, uh, on top of being big lumbering machines of huge damage, the Colossi are also kind of actually crafty. Mm -hmm. If you saw, I went under him trying to get around him and flank him, but he he said, fuck that. No. Sneaky little hobbitses. <laughs> I'll 
so this phalanx, or the uh, scion rather, does not want to come out of cover. He just saw what you did to his friends. Mm, I mean, I don't blame him, really. So I think that's a Vex, but I can't really be sure. It's weird. I've got those same weird legs that the elites have. Yeah. From a uh, Halo. Maybe it's supposed. Yeah, maybe it's supposed to be something like that. Like, yeah, we remember what we did. <laughs> you make it sound like it was a war crime or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now. No, they wouldn't be allowed to, right? Because Microsoft would necessarily, own rights. not necessarily, but it do, you mentioned it does look fairly similar. It does a little bit, yeah. So this fight is a huge fucking pain. As you can see, we've got uh, the yellow scions. There's like eight to ten of those things running around. I mean, they spawn at different points, so you're, it's not like all on the field at the same time. But they are—they're pretty bullet spongy being elites, and just everything in this area does a good amount of damage. Yeah, I'll admit when I see people complaining about this game, the one complaint they have is enemies are either not bullet spongy enough or too bullet spongy. It's a weird complaint to have, really. I mean, it's it's also very dependent on your, uh, your weapon's effective range. Uh, if you're... If you're using, like, say, I'm using an, an auto rifle right now, and I'm I'm just barely within the most effective range for the weapon to be, you know, full damage. So if you're trying to snipe with the auto rifle, bad news is you're not going to get very far, very quickly at least. That makes sense. That's a boss. He's dead now. Fantastic. Yeah, there's enough bullet spongy enemies running around right now that I don't want to deal with him. <sighs> and unlike in most missions, uh, after you kill the boss, you still have to kill all these elites before anything else ha can happen. Of course you have to. Uh-oh. Spawning restricted area and Python's close to death. Nah. Everything works out, don't worry. Beautiful. See, look. All clear. This machine, it's still active. Thank Jesus. <laughs> so for whatever reason, sometimes the prompt for uh, letting your ghost out doesn't show up immediately. But, uh, sometimes, if, if you know what you're supposed to be doing, you can just kind of preempt the prompt anyway and just kind of do this it. This AI once connected to the war mind right. of Mars. The war mind? Mm-hmm. You, uh, you remember Rasputin, the guy, uh... Uh, he was briefly mentioned in the Earth missions. He'll become more important later. But he is a war mind. And now we have officially made contact with the war mind of Mars. Or what's left of him, at least. You mean Rasputin, the lover of the Russian queen? You handle the command. Yeah, sure. I'll wait the eye. He didn't die. It's true. <laughs> there. The I'd like to say nice shot on that guy, but that was Get definitely aim assist helping you there. It might have been actually. I I took a look. I did actually look at it frame by frame because I wasn't very sure of it myself. And it's hard to tell. The muzzle flash kind of blocked where, like, when I took the shot, the muzzle flash just blocked it completely. I have no idea what's about to happen. No, oh, what I could tell was, like, you were following the enemy too closely. Like, it was even too good for, like, mouse and keyboard. It was just... No, I mean, it kind of, I will admit, aim assist definitely was helping on that one, but I was actually following him with, you know, the sticks. All right, is that the eye? Uh, the eye is what we just put in that bit below us, but that is the actual key to the Black Garden. Ooh. Hmm. It's a big key. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh. But yeah, that right there is the eye. And of course, we can't get out of this without a fight. Of course we can. It's, uh... 
Primus Shaul. Sha Shaul. Shaul. I don't know, man. Add, add an apostrophe. Nice. Super. Add an apostrophe in there somewhere and you've got space. Space name. Uh, I'm actually kind of okay with missing that because I've already chumped one boss in this uh, video. So... At least let's have one halfway tense fight. Tense. Also, that legionary jumped right in front of my fucking shotgun and saved his fucking leader. What a what a true hero he is. He will be remembered by his people. The ones that all cowardly run away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, which will be no one, because you're going to kill everyone, but... Uh... No, they run away, so there will be people. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're good to go. The eye is charged. Amazing. It's time did to enter the Black Garden and finish this. We've done it. So, as of this moment, we now have two updates in the base game. Uh, minus the strikes and potentially the raid. Hmm. Uh, I would usually, like, I would have put the, uh, the next side mission and the Black Garden in one, but I feel like the Black Garden needs its own video. So, two more. That makes sense.